What's up guys, so uh, today we're going to be uh, finally kegging the barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout I did last March. Um, we were supposed to do it in October, but we're a little late. It's uh, December 1st today, so um, we're a little late, but uh, let me show you what it looks like right now. Alright, so here's the barrel. I just took it out about two hours ago. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So, no pellicle or, pellicle or anything. Smells pretty good. Lost a lot of liquid though, so we're probably down to about half of what we put in, but that's alright. Um, so let's get this siphoned into the keg. Alright, so we're transferring now. Um, so you can see, I purged the keg of CO2 first. Um, we're transferring in, and then what we'll do is we'll bottle this from there. Alright, so we came up Probably, I want to say, a little over three gallons, and maybe four. Um, so it's in the keg. One way to prevent this is to have some extra, and you can top off your uh, barrel as you go. So we're going to carve this up and get it carbonated, and then we're going to bottle. All right, so this is what we have left in the barrel. You can see it's still a good bit. There's really no way to kind of get that out without oxidizing and splashing it around, but... So what we'll do is we'll dump this out. Actually, you know what? What I'll probably do is rack the other beer right on top of this. So what we're going to be doing is racking another Russian Imperial Stout on this next. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so instead of me showing you guys um, me racking it into the, the barrel again, because we already did that in the previous video for this, um, you can see that on the uh, other video for the stout. Um, it's all in there. Just no point in me videotaping it twice. So um, I did end up dumping the barrel uh, just because I remember there was uh, some wood shavings in there. And there's also probably some yeast. So I dumped it um, and then just sanitized the bung hole and that was really all I did for that. Um, transfer went pretty well. I did a uh, pressurized transfer out of the uh, SS Brutech Conical um, and everything's in there now and ready to go. So we're going to let that go for a couple months. Uh, let me show you how this beer came out. All right, so here's the beer. Let's see, jet black, pretty good, pretty clear. Smell, you definitely get some bourbon, uh, a lot of oak, some dark chocolate, tobacco, some vanilla. Smells, smells awesome. Taste is a lot of oak. So not as much bourbon as you'd think. Uh, some tobacco again. Lots of dark chocolate. Um, very creamy. Mouth feels very full, very creamy, just like you would expect from a barrel stout. Um, not very astringent. Uh, again, this was aged for uh, nine months, so it. a lot of people say with the smaller barrels, that's not good for the beer. It gives you astringency. So this I did not taste at all. Uh, I'd say this came out pretty well. As far as oxidation goes, a little bit in there um, it's got a little bit of hints of like cardboard wet paper but it's not to the point where it ruins the beer I'm sure once the carbonation gets in there it'll probably flush it out um, we'll see I'm gonna enter this in a competition we'll see what they say but um, there's you're gonna get oxidation with the barrel no matter what so um, there's definitely a little in there maybe next time I'll go a little shorter so all in all it came out pretty well if you have any questions about the barrel aging process let me know um, I'm gonna carve this up and bottle it and then we're gonna ship it off to a competition and give it to some friends for Christmas so any questions let me know in the meantime like subscribe and look out for more videos